smell of pizza, the cheese starts melting in the oven. So these are my favorite memories from childhood. And this is gonna make the pizza dough nice and crispy. It's just something that everybody loves to eat. Look at the beautiful crisp. Gorgeous. The perfect quattro for Maggi. Welcome to my happy place. Yes, today is the day. We're gonna be making pizza, my favorite. We're gonna be making quattro formaggi with a rocket salad. So not just one or two, but four different cheeses. I can't wait. Follow me, let's get started. So the first step really is to preheat your oven. So I've preheated mine to 200 degrees and I've put in the baking trays in which I'm gonna bake the pizza. And this is really important that the baking trays are heated so that when you put the pizza on it, it's gonna instantly start cooking and you're gonna have a nice, even and crisp crust. Today I have four different kinds of cheese. So I have the grated mozzarella from Parmesan. I'm gonna have a piece of Gruyere and then I'm gonna have some soft mozzarella as well. So I'm just gonna start grating. That's the parmesan done, the Gruyere. And so for your soft mozzarella, you just need to drain it. You could also use your knife and slice it, but I'm keeping this nice and simple and I'm just gonna tear the mozzarella. These are some great cheeses, nice and mild, but with enough punch. So for the tomato sauce, I'm going to use a good tomato passata. I'm going to put it in a bowl. I'm going to go with some garlic powder, a bit of dried oregano, and a little bit of brown sugar. It's going to break the tartness of the tomato. Give it a good mix. I'm going to add a dollop of olive oil and a pinch of salt. And that's it. That's the tomato sauce done. I'm gonna put some semolina on my table so that the dough doesn't stick, but also it's gonna give a nice sort of extra crisp and crunch to the pizza dough when it bakes. So a quick tip on how to roll the pizza dough and keep it nice and round. Press the pizza dough to create two dimples, then put your rolling pin the other way around and create again those dimples, and then you continue. Your pizza should stay nice and round. You get to choose how thick the pizza is. So if you like a nice thin and crispy like me, I'm gonna keep on going for a little bit longer. And I think this is the joy of making pizza at home. It's just something that everybody loves to eat. It's nice to get everybody involved. The smell of pizza, the cheese starts melting in the oven. So these are my favorite memories from childhood because I used to make pizza very often with my dad. Now my next step is to take those hot oven trays out of the oven. I'm gonna add the dough on the tray. It instantly feels hot, so it's starting to cook. First step, tomato paste. You might want to leave a little bit of the edges without the sauce. So I'm going to start by adding the Gruyere and then the Parmesan cheese and then finally the grated mozzarella. So there we go, the three cheeses are on the pizza dough. I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to just brush the edges of the pizza. And this is gonna make the pizza dough nice and crispy. And now we repeat and we do the same for the rest of the doughs. And then we just stick it in the oven and we bake it for 20 minutes. So while the pizza is cooking, I'm gonna prepare a very simple vinaigrette. So I'm gonna add some balsamic vinegar, then just a drizzle of olive oil and a little bit of salt. I'm gonna whisk it, and then I'm gonna toss it into the salad because our pizza is ready and we're ready to eat. So just a quick toss, and then let's look what's happening in our oven. Beautiful. Look at the beautiful crisp. So this is because there is semolina and we nicely also uh, brushed it with the olive oil. And look underneath. Gorgeous. So then the final touches to the pizza is the mozzarella. We're gonna put it on top instantly so it's gonna start melting a little bit. And then we're gonna top it with some basil leaves. And here we have the perfect quattro formaggi. <gasps> Can you smell it? Thin, crispy and delicious. I can't wait to attack this pizza. For more recipes and also tips on how to prepare the perfect pizza at home, then click here. Bon appétit!